And the first sin I want to start going over is with adultery or fornication, right? I mean, it's, it's essentially the same act. Now, whether you're married or not determines whether or not you're committing adultery or fornication. But the, this, this sin, you know, the Bible says in James 1, that every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lust and enticed. And typically when it comes to the sin of fornication or adultery, you know, people are drawn away with their eyes. Right? You look on something or someone that you shouldn't be looking at, and then all of a sudden the sin conceives in your heart, and then you, you know, this, this lust begins in your heart, and then and before you know it, people end up acting on those lusts and on those desires. Uh, that's why in, in the book of Job, in Job chapter 31, verse number 1, Job writes this, he says, I made a covenant with mine eyes, why then should I think upon a maid? So if you can control, the thought here is, hey, if I can control my eyes, if I can control the things I look at, I'm going to be way less likely to be tempted about thinking on a maid, right? Thinking on someone, say, other than my spouse, thinking on another person in a way that I shouldn't be thinking about them. If I could just control my eyes, right, this would be a huge step in the right direction. See, unfortunately, we have, in the world, we have a culture that says, oh, hey, I could look at the menu, you know, I don't have to order, but I could, keep, I could just look and feast your eyes. And, and people have this idea where, where they could just, it's okay in their minds to just gawk. Now, normally, this is a, a man thing for, you know, looking at women, but it, there's women that look at men, too. Don't, I mean, don't kid yourself on that. This, apply, this affects both genders equally. Well, maybe not equally, but it definitely affects both genders, right? I, I, it is probably more prevalent among men, but still, um, you know, the stereotype you're going to think of is guys just hooting and hollering and just kind of looking at women, and, uh, and it shouldn't be. Now, we live in a world where people don't know how to dress modestly at all, and especially going into the summer, it's going to be warming up. You know, you've got a lot of women who think it's just fine to basically walk around in their underwear and they call it a bikini, right, or whatever, and just expose all manner of skin that they would never do normally. I mean, if you, if you just put on underwear in a day and go off to work, I mean, no one's going to go and do that. They'd be embarrassed or ashamed to go into the office just wearing underwear. But yet you could have the same amount of people all around a swimming pool, and then they're going to have no problem with that, wearing essentially the same thing. It makes no sense. It doesn't add up. And here's the thing, the less clothing that people wear is going to lead to more lustful, you know, people looking on that flesh. Now, we live in this world. One rule you can make for yourself is, well, I'm just going to go and just live off in the middle of nowhere and isolate myself. But see, God didn't call us just to go and isolate ourselves and just be completely just... 100% remote and have no contact with anyone. No, we need to live in this world but not be of this world. We need to be able to interact with people of this world because we're trying to preach the gospel, we're trying to get people saved. So in that mission, of course we'll be coming into contact with all manner of people. We're going to have to deal with just the world at large. So because that's one of the things that we have to do, we have to deal with, we need to make other rules to try to prevent having this lust even and even take foothold at all in our heart. So if you can make a covenant with your eyes, the first rule would be, you know, if something immodest or impure crosses your eye path, don't take that second look. You can't always control the first look. Right? When you're out in public and, and there's people walking around or whatever, you may not have control over, over the things that come in front of your eyes, right? You're driving your car, someone's walking across the street or whatever. It's like, boom, there's something that, that you know, maybe a lady dress that guys shouldn't be looking that way. But you know what? You could definitely control that second look. 